Well, I think what's really exciting is that we don't um, understand how it applies to the everyday world around us. Crudely speaking, in our everyday experience, we uh, are very conscious that we can remember the past and affect the future and not vice versa. However, um, with one technical exception, which is usually not thought to be terribly important in this context, the basic laws of physics appear to be um, completely invariant under time reversal. In other words, they make no distinction between the forward and backward direction of time. And so the question is, how, um, uh, how can this be? It's such a fundamental feature of our everyday experience and yet appears not exactly to be in conflict with the laws of physics, but to make some, uh, some demands which go beyond, in some sense, the, um, the laws of physics as we've tended to understand them. The resolution which people favour most tends to go back to cosmology, the idea that does the expansion of the universe does define a particular direction of time. But the pro problem really is, um, why should that direction of time also be the direction in which the total entropy of the universe is increasing, as it seems to be? My own feeling is that um, even when there is a really, really major revolution in physics, something comparable to say, special relativity or quantum mechanics, whatever, if there is such a revolution, I would take a large bet that it will, in some sense, involve a radical revision of our ideas about the, about the sense of time. If you ask me, well, what kind, of, uh, what kind of theory could that be, the answer is if I knew, <laughs> I would be doing it already, so I, I don't know. <laughs>